Welcome to Netlink Daily, a show where we examine the tech news of the day, and perhaps other things a little too closely. There was no Netlink on Friday last week because we had a power outage in the studio. I apologize. I mean, I couldn't have controlled the power outage, but anyways, we missed some big stories. One of which was this. Microsoft has announced that users running new processors such as Intel Skylake will pretty much have to upgrade to Windows 10 if they want full security support. After July 17th, 2017, so 18 months from now, only the most critical security fixes will be released on Windows 7 and 8.1, and those will only be released if they don't risk screwing up the stability of a Skylake system. In addition, upcoming next-gen processors like Intel's KB Lake, AMD's Bristol Ridge APUs, and Qualcomm's Snapdragon 820 is in there too, they will only support Windows 10, with Microsoft saying this is pretty much going to be the rule of law going forward. Of course, if you haven't upgraded to Skylake, it's business as usual, and you get free support up until Windows 7 and 8.1's end of life in 2020 and 2023, respectively. But you'll have to upgrade sometime, and, and when you do, oh, you'll get Windows 10. Just you watch. AMD has given the public a peek at its next-gen Polaris GPUs. Raja Kaduri, head of the Radeon Technologies Group, revealed to VentureBeat that they're working on two chips based on the new 14 nanometer architecture called Polaris 10 and Polaris 11, because they turned it up to 11. Ugh, sorry. One of those chips is designed for thin and light laptops and entry-level desktops, while the other is a full-on high-end desktop GPU. Kaduri didn't reveal many other details about the chips, other than the fact that they'll be extremely power efficient and offer a big increase in performance, but apparently AMD's looking to release a new high-end graphics card this year. Do you guys think Polaris is going to be the golden boy that AMD needs to hand it to NVIDIA? Leave a comment. And Fractal Design has released an interesting new case called the Define Nano S. From what we can see, it pretty much takes the excellent water cooling support from the Define S and shrinks it down into an ITX case just 19 inches tall. We really liked the Define S when we reviewed that case, so we can't wait to get our hands on this one to see if the shrinking was successful or if it was more of a honey I shrunk the kids kind of deal. That was a disaster. <laughs> Last week I asked you guys for Quick Bits recordings, and you responded! Take it away! Quick Bits! Well done, Andrew! And remember, if you want to see yourself on Netlink saying Quick Bits for me, Lightning Round for Jack, Snippy Snippets for Julia, or Small Talk for Esther, tweet us or Instagram us a video. <laughs> Alright, Quick Bits. SpaceX is still trucking along, trying to land rockets on sea barges, but they're just not there yet, with the latest one failing due to a landing strut screwing the whole thing up. Pfft. Typical landing strut. MSI has provided updated BIOS files that fix the Skylake bug, causing some CPUs to freeze under heavy loads. Right now, this update is only available for the Z170 X Power Gaming Titanium and Gaming M7 motherboards, but MSI is planning on getting their whole lineup updated soon. Catching an Uber ride in a helicopter may be a lot more common very soon, as the company just signed a deal with Airbus to test a new transportation project. Soon, get to the chopper! Will just be a regular thing people say. It won't even be won't even be funny anymore. It's sad. And Samsung has quietly fixed the design flaw that caused the Galaxy Note 5 stylus to get stuck if you inserted it the wrong way. New models of the phone will be able to eject the pen from both ends. Good news for those of you who have real trouble figuring out which end of the pen is for writing. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Oh boy. Parangari kutiri mi quaro. I feel like I missed some syllables in there. See, I can say that because I know it doesn't mean anything dirty. So, if you want us to say your things, don't make them vulgar. Hey! So you may have heard of this other video website out there that people like Linus and Hardware Canucks and actually most other biggest YouTubers have been using called Vessel. Sorry, I know that. I know that some people really weren't happy when the whole Vessel thing started, but 
Here's the deal, it's actually good news. All of our content will still be coming to YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube, you won't be missing out on anything and you probably won't even notice anything happened. Now, if you don't know what the deal is with Vessel, it's a video platform that allows its subscribers to watch content from their favorite creators early for a monthly subscription. It's $2.99 a month, but your first month is free, so you can just try it out if you want. Some of our content will be releasing on Vessel first, and then will be uploaded to YouTube seven days later. But what about Netlinked? Well, it really doesn't make sense to make Netlinked an early access type of show. So Netlinked will be releasing to Vessel and YouTube at the same time. But our other shows, Unpack, Tech Tips, and whatever else we end up filming, unless it's a really time sensitive type video, will be going up on Vessel first. So like I said, if you're on YouTube, you probably won't even notice a difference in our upload schedule at all because we're not planning on there being a difference. But if you wanna watch our stuff earlier, you can go try Vessel free for a month at vessel.com slash NCIX and then decide if you wanna subscribe. All right, are we cool? I'm gonna be scared of the comments on this video. Well, that's it for Netlink Daily for today, guys. Thanks for watching. You can click over here for more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, holla at me if you know what time it is. Lunch time? Lunch time, yeah. See, I, that wasn't, we didn't practice that. I knew that he knew and that you knew. Friendship. Well, see ya.